Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I've mixed up counterculture, equal parts A and B, medium viscosity. Mixed about six minutes and I have a couple of five ounce cups and I'm going to be using some of Petra. He has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. I got some different metallics and things, mica powders in. She has beautiful powders. This one is Navajo. I've got some uh, kind of crushed shells in there. We'll start with that. These are in these little tiny jars and you know mica powder goes everywhere. So I want it to have a shimmer to it. I am always, as far as resin goes, I'm always more attracted to the uh, mica powders that have some shimmer instead of just straight pigment. If you can have a little shimmer, why not have it, you know? Okay, I'm going to add more. I got these seashells in and I wanted to uh, make something with them because I think they're just so beautiful. They're colors that I love. <clears throat> Teal and purple and blue and they look natural but they're probably painted they're probably not real shells as far as they're real shells but they're probably not real colors but they're beautiful so that's got some tint to it it's not fully uh, pigmented which is totally okay and then I'm going to use sparkling sapphire again I will have the link for her Etsy store below the video this one has a little bit more sparkle to it and I probably have way too much resin for these four molds. I couldn't remember if it holds three or four ounces and I know the shells take up a little space but I've got some phone grips um, with some shells in the middle and I'm going to keep some clear resin to pour in the middle. So we'll kind of see how it goes. I want to add just a little bit more pigment to this blue. I almost dropped the lid right in the resin. You can't see that. Sorry. I just looked up at the camera. There's the Navajo and here's the sparkling sapphire. I made the last uh, video with rose gold and sapphire and gold and it, it just turned out so pretty. I love this color so I wanted to do something with it again. I just didn't know what. And I think I'm going to do some purple. I've got primary elements which is not really meant to go in resin but I'm going to put it in, 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 in anyway. So I'm going to I'm just going to kind of knock some in here. This has got more texture to it. It's not really a mica powder. Primary elements and it's boysenberry. Color art. So I mix that in first. It's got little chunks, so I'm going to have to mix it a bit. So I just want to make sure I get the big pieces broken up. So that's boysenberry, but I want to make it purple. I'm going to do a no no. I hope I won't regret it. This is fluid acrylic. I'm going to put three drops of golden fluid acrylic. I'm not really supposed to use acrylics and resin. I still want some pigment in there, so let me find. I'm going to put this lavender. Let's resin pearlized pigment. I'm going to put a good squirt in. I've been using that for liquid, you know, it's great. It's just a nice squirt. Okay, that purpled it up very nicely. I've been racking my brain how I want to do this. And I'm going to put malachite green into this mixture there. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and pour the clear in first. I'm going to pour the clear in where the shells are. This is warming up quite a bit, so I've got to work fast. And I don't want any of the shells to be above the uh, top of the coaster. 
So just kind of press them down a bit. This is not what I had envisioned. <laughs> just, just wanting you to know that that uh, this was not the way I originally had planned it. So we'll just kind of see what happens. It's always good to just kind of experiment, you know. I'm saving a little bit for my little phone grips. Now I'm going to do the teal. And that just kind of went straight into the middle, you know. And you can't control out of these cups. That's why I like my plastic beakers. Um, but they only hold two to three ounces. So, and I had more than two or three ounces that I wanted to mix of each color. But you can't really control how much comes out of the cup. That's why... This is not going the way I had planned on it to go. The teal would be my least favorite color. That's why I'm doing it on the bottom. I'm hoping the shells will still show up with all these colors. That's why I poured the clear in first. This will probably all do its own thing anyway with the way resin kind of floats in towards the middle. So I might as well just embrace it and swirl it, right? I'm such a klutz. Oh, I'm such a klutz. <laughs> really, really a klutz. resin you know you have to kind of work on a time frame because it starts to set up and I have found for me the more I try to rush the more mistakes I make or you know you know just getting I get kind of messy so that's just an observation on my behalf okay and I got a little clear left I'm just going to pour it in the center just to make sure each mold is filled up to the max. These are kind of full here. So this is just going to be a hodgepodge. Now it would be really nice if they just do something really spectacular on their own. But you know, it probably won't. So it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to pour and go with the flow. Just like in acrylic pouring, you just gotta go with it. Whatever happens, happens. I've got a mech of a hex. I mean, a heck of a mess. I really meant to say it that way the first time. A mech of a hex. You should see my table. It's just full, full, full. It's eight feet of stuff. I'll be back. Okay, we're going to see what these look like. I don't expect anything pretty on the other side. I hope the shells will show. Because um, this just, it didn't play out like I had planned. So, at least the shells still showed up. So, I may embellish it and put a top coat on it or something. I don't know. I may leave it the way it is. I was going to go with clear and then I got overzealous with the color and I think that was my issue. If I had left mostly clear and just put a little color in there I think it would have 
turned out prettier. Has some cool, this looks like you're looking into a cave there, but um, different from the others. So there those are. They're pretty colors though. I love the colors. The teal went a lot deeper than I expected, but that's okay. Because I love color anyway. With my leftovers, I did four of these. And I've got a little clear showing there, if you can see that on the edges. But um, I'll either make these into pop sockets or I might just make magnets out of these. I thought people might use magnets more than they do pop sockets. I'll include pictures at the end and whether I decide to uh, maybe put an outline on them or not, I'm not sure. So I'll be back. <laughs>